What is up everybody, I hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is Lexic Art website tutorial. So here we are on lexica.art and the first thing we are going to do is just to log in. So let's click on get started in the right top corner. Here as you can see we can continue with our Gmail account or with email. So in my case I'm going to use Gmail as for me this is the easiest variant. So all we need to do now is just to input uh, like choose one of our Gmail account and now everything is done We can just simply use lexica.art for 100% and as you can see this website is divided into different folders home generate history likes and account so on the home page which is the first one basically like uh, we will start from this page we can find different images generated by other people if we'll scroll down as you can see like there is like different categories different prompts so all we can do here is just to search for different images we can change the view so let's for example in, input like nature keyword and we'll try to find for the images and as you can see we can find a lot of different images from this page here sometimes it could be easier as for us to work with an existing images maybe we'll just simply need to find something uh, for our projects or something like this so we can just simply click on every single image here uh, we can find the prompt like monet style snowy mountain landscape high detail we can copy this uh, prompt we can open in editor so let's try to click and as you can see now we'll move to the generate folder so we can easily find a lot of stuff about these uh, like image here and I think it's pretty like interesting we can also mark uh, the images we like by simply clicking on this page here and this is a way basically of how can we interact with the home page we can also add like upload an image for reverse image search or like uh, find the uh, different um, like different generators like Lexica, Aperture or Stable Diffusion but as for me, they do doesn't work that great. So uh, this is basically of how can we use the home folder on the generate, which is like the most interesting as for me, uh, we can generate a different um, different images. Basically, describe your image. All we need to do is just to input different words to describe our picture. So let it be a dog in glasses, for example. Let's try to write something like this. We can also input the negative prompt. We can change the dimension if it's like if we want to. So let it be, for example, horizontal. And let's try to uh, generate the necessary image we are going to uh, maybe use in the future. So it may take a little time. And as you can see, we successfully like got uh, four different images as for us and basically we can use every single image so what can we do we can generate variations we can generate a wider version of this image via our pending uh, we can also like uh, load prompt into editor load image into editor or delete this prompt and also we can download or mark like as a liked what is really important in really interesting as for the uh, generator that we can find some images we are going to use for example this one here if you'll try to save it on our computer basically i've already done it we can upload our image right up here in the right top corner so we can just click click to open and then we can click on generate and um, basically this image will be used with our prompts to generate uh, some more images like correlated with this one here so let's try to basically re-upload this website. I'll upload I'll upload this image here. And also I'd like to input this prompt. So let's click on generate. And it may take a little time basically. And when everything precedes, we can just simply find the results. And this feature is pretty cool if you want to basically uh, generate something related to an existing image maybe like this 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 as you can see they really like uh, looks like look like uh, the image we imported and I think it's pretty cool we can do the same options basically so this is a way of how can we use uh, 
uh, import image feature. On the history page, we can easily find all the uh, works created by us. Uh, all of these were created in a previous tutorial about Lexica. So this is the way we can easily select multiple pictures. We can download, we can delete and do some other stuff. So this is the way basically of how can you interact with our history. It's pretty cool that they uh, they that they have the history so we can easily try to find some like recent, some old um, generated basically pictures. On the likes, uh, this folder depends on our likes area. So here we can find all the light works we like pinned as light and I think it's pretty cool, pretty easy. And on the account, uh, page what can we find we can basically uh, find some account stuff and from this page here we can easily uh, try to buy different plans as you can see we have like starter pack pro and max and the most popular is like pro so the prices are ten dollars per month thirty dollars per month and six dollars per month and here we can find a lot of differences one a thousand false generations per month versus three versus seven no slow generations unlimited slow generations and unlimited slow generation as for us uh, three parallel fast generations three and three here commercial license solo commercial license and commercial license and images are public images are public for pro and the max keep images private and these are the main differences so what is really cool is that we can easily use it for free and when everything is basically done when we tested this uh, website we can just simply continue to use it and as for me it's pretty cool so you can decide it by your own and also if you click uh, on our icon in the right top corner we can just simply go to account area where we can find all the settings for example we can manage our billing information and so on and of course we can sign out so if we click on subscribe for example we'll uh, like move to the stripe page where we can import all the uh, payment information with our credit card and so on and what is really interesting is if you're going to buy a paid plan we can pay early so uh, we'll save up to 20 percent so basically as you can see 8 instead of 10 uh, 24 instead of 30 and like 48 instead of 60 dollars per month so basically these are the huge differences and if you're going to buy lexica paid plans i honestly suggest you to buy early plan so this is a way of how can we use lexica art website it was like quick tutorial i hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye